How to stay strong mentally during adversity. We all have to cope with difficult times from time to time, whether they are brought on by family concerns, health concerns, or financial troubles. It is during these moments that your capacity to manage and successfully handle pressures, triggers, and stress is put to the test. Being resilient is therefore crucial, particularly in situations where you have no influence over the outcome. If you lack mental toughness, life's obstacles will eventually wear you down and make you feel bad feelings like fear, anxiety, and self-doubt. And the more you act on these emotions and feel these things, the more it seems like the world is against you. You develop personally and enhance your perspective on life and its obstacles when you can rise above challenging circumstances. Here's how to maintain mental toughness. Recognize what you cannot alter. First, acknowledge what cannot be altered. The only thing that is constant in life, as they say, is change. Consequently, there are situations when a goal can no longer be feasible or reachable. However, it is a waste of time and energy to intensify your frustrations and ask yourself, why me? Acceptance of what cannot be altered is a crucial skill, particularly in trying circumstances. To be clear, agreement does not equate to acceptance. It just indicates that you are aware that there may be circumstances beyond your control. It doesn't imply that you give in to their manipulation. Never forget that things might always be worse, so try not to exaggerate the situation. Keep a long-term outlook in mind instead. Is this anything that will affect me in a day or more? One month? For a year, perhaps? Concentrate on what you can manage. Number 2. Pay attention to what you can manage. You would probably be surprised at how much is out of your control. You miss out on the richness of the moment, with all of its difficulties and rewards, if you become frustrated by that fact. Instead, by concentrating on all the bad things and your lack of control, it makes you feel hopeless, depressed, and hopeless. It's more difficult, but far more satisfying, to bring your focus back to the here and now. Because you will be making the changes you can, it helps you concentrate on the things that can benefit you. After you've compiled a list of all the things you can manage in a difficult scenario, concentrate your efforts there. Stay upbeat. Stay upbeat is number three. Keeping an optimistic outlook when faced with difficulties can be a simple yet effective strategy for navigating life's ups and downs. Positivity puts you in a position of strength and hope. Two things that can make you stronger in the process which is the finest possible position to succeed in the end. We have two options when things, people, or even the entire world seem to be falling apart around us. Either we give in to pessimistic ideas and attitudes, or we tell ourselves that there is always hope for a better tomorrow. Of course, this does not imply that you will always be cheerful and positive. When impersonated and employed as a coping method, this type of conduct can be just as harmful as negativity. Everybody experiences both good and bad days. The ability and willingness to pick yourself up and go on is what matters. Number 4. Make self-care a priority. Place self-care first. In difficult circumstances, self-care is vitally essential. You cannot possibly serve others if you are not complete, strong, and healthy yourself. Self-care, of course, comes in many forms. For you, it can be cooking healthful meals, for example. But if you have to break out of this schedule due to uncontrollable circumstances, you may always grab a protein bar, some fruit, or another nutritious snack. We can still take care of ourselves even if we don't have time for our typical routines. Other crucial components of self-care include physical activity and a regular sleep schedule. After all, it makes no difference how mentally robust you are if you are sleep-deprived and in poor health. Step 5. Use your creativity. Be imaginative. Even when the answer is clearly there in front of you, it can occasionally be difficult to see. Sometimes, though, you come to a clear dead end. But virtually any issue may be resolved with innovative thought. Even in less difficult times, having the ability to think creatively ahead of time is a useful skill. Yes, there are instances when there are no quick fixes and you just need to handle the circumstances. But that's when coming up with inventive substitutes can be really useful. For instance, a lot of people work two jobs to supplement their income, particularly during hard times. Having a side gig or side hustle might be quite beneficial. 
Making extra money to help pay the bills is now simpler than ever thanks to the internet and expanding work from home opportunities. Learn from challenging circumstances. Six, take a lesson from challenging events. Difficult moments are inevitable. It's not a guarantee that we should decide to take what we've learned from them to make us more resilient the next time. Consider what you could have done differently when things go wrong. If you don't let it consume you, it's a great way to draw lessons from the experience. You'll benefit from this strategy, if and when, a comparable circumstance occurs. You'll be able to handle it with greater skill. You will also be more prepared to prevent it from occurring in the future. Make the required adjustments. Step 7. Make the required adjustments. It is important to learn from bad experiences, but it is useless to do nothing with the knowledge gained. If you've come to the conclusion that something needs to change, take action. Being in the same circumstance repeatedly is the last thing you want, especially if you haven't taken any action to stop it. If the change is something that you are unable to manage at this time, make a note of it so that you can act when the time comes. Remain grateful. Practice gratitude. Number 8. There will always be difficult times in life, as well as unanticipated events. But express gratitude for what you do have in your life rather of dwelling on the shortcomings. Choosing to live a grateful life can have priceless benefits. Counting three things for which you are grateful is a useful self-actualization practice to do when you are feeling agitated, worried, or generally down about life. The most significant things to you are frequently the first three things that spring to mind. To take it a step further, list all the things you consider yourself lucky to have and all the experiences that have helped you learn anything important. Realizing how much in your life is going well can make difficult times easier. 9. Acquire the ability to pardon. Be able to forgive. One of the most damaging feelings we can have is resentment. It is especially harmful because, although it begins so small, it eventually expands to devour us. Anger then sets in, and once it does, there's no turning back. You have to realize that concentrating on your shortcomings all the time will only lead to disaster. But it's also awful to constantly criticize others for theirs. It's hard enough to get by in life without having to carry a grudge. It will simply make you feel heavy. Letting go is the path to true strength and growth. Forgiveness, both of others and most importantly of oneself, is a much better method to deal with these bad emotions. 1 0. Strengthen your community. Strengthen your community. Having a support system of upbeat people close by is essential to your mental health during difficult times. Surround yourself with family, friends, co-workers, or support systems who are devoted, kind, truthful, and readily available. Your family's honesty can help you see the simple reality. Friends can take care of you when you may not have the energy to. And a little affection from your spouse can go a long way toward making up for a bad day. Our mental health depends on this honest and kind conversation. Finding a group of like-minded individuals who also happen to be experiencing the same problems as you will also help you deal with your circumstances more effectively. It's simple to feel mentally robust when things are going well. However, it is frequently during a crisis that true mental toughness is most visible. Furthermore, while some people recover from adversity and failures fast and strong, others find it far more challenging. What is your approach when life throws you for a loop? Are you able to bounce back quickly and adjust to the situation? Or are you really overloaded right now? Please share your experiences in the space provided below. Maybe they may benefit other people who are seeing this video. Please like and share this video with your friends if you liked it so that we can continue to make more like it. Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos just like this one. Don't forget to watch our other videos as well. Thank you for viewing.